Hi guys, watching YouTube and students of Hiragana Katakana Academy on YouTube. It's Kamo here. In my previous lesson, I lectured about the first training to learn Japanese Hiragana. If you are beginner for learning Japanese and haven't checked that yet, check the lesson one before watching this video. You can understand this lesson better, I think. Now, I'd like to begin Hiragana Katakana Academy lesson 2. In the first lesson, I told you that memorize Japanese hiragana with word, image, copies of pronunciations. This time, what I want you to do is making words. At lesson 1, I showed you Japanese hiragana toy. By playing this toy with their parents, Japanese children learn hiragana for the first time in their life. And they learn some easy words too. What the children and what we should do next? I teach you in this lesson too. Let's start it. Next thing need to do is use it. By playing hiragana toy, kids input hiragana reading and hiragana shapes memory. And by watching my Japanese hiragana flashcards, you input hiragana reading and hiragana shapes memory too. Then next phase is making words. For this making words training, I prepare Japanese hiragana making words flashcards. It is like a praying for kids. But this phase is so important. When I started English studying and when you started Japanese studying, we noticed big difference between the English and Japanese. It is pronunciation's rule. I want to say about this. Japanese alphabet hiragana katakana has only one pronunciation for each alphabet. A, a. But English alphabet has some pronunciation. How do you say this? Yes, aunt. My English pronunciation is corrected? And how do you say this? Eight. Then now I ask you, for these two words, how did you pronounce the alphabet A? First one, A. Latter one, A. English alphabet has some pronunciations for each alphabet, but Japanese alphabet hiragana katakana has only one pronunciation for each alphabet. For we Japanese, Japanese rule is easy and English rule is difficult, but for you, opposite thing happens, I think. So the flashcard is not only for words studying, but please watch the flashcards to learn Japanese alphabet reading rule. And after watching the flashcard, I recommend you one training too. I often say and I said in some videos but to learn language, best way of studying is making sentence. Why I think so is I was writing English diary every day when I was age of 13, 14, 15. So now I can use English somehow. But I couldn't do that alone. In Japan, everyone has to go to elementary school and junior high school, usually until 15 years old. And the most of junior high school students study English at school. Japanese students have good environment for English studying. 
but how about you? I'm not sure about every country, but I guess many country has no curriculum for Japanese studying, isn't it? It is hard to keep making sentence alone. I tell you another good training too. Just memorize word is not bad studying, but memorize Japanese words randomly is not interesting, not fun, bored. By bored studying, we can't learn well. So let's memorize Japanese hiragana words by category. What you try to memorize today? Today, animal. Next day, for school. Next, about music. Of course, you can repeat the category and words too. Important thing is do meaningful studying, learning, memorize. If you don't know what category you should start, check my video. I'll prepare Japanese flashcard categorized version. Now, here's a summary. When you memorize Japanese hiragana, next thing you should do is making words. Let's study with me by flashcard or try to study Japanese words by category. How was today's lesson? I upload video about Japanese lesson every day. I'm always trying to tell you way of learning Japanese in some ways. Thanks for subscribing my channel and like the video. And don't forget, push the bell mark for notification. If you have anything you want to tell me, feeling, opinion to me, request, please leave comment for this video. I promise I checked all. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next.